Welcome, curious minds. Today, we'll visit the luxury London mansion of British singer, songwriter, and Queen frontman Freddie Mercury. His Kensington residence, Garden Lodge, recently hit the market for a breathtaking $38 million. Mercury affectionately called it my country house in central London. Garden Lodge is situated in a quiet, affluent area of London and is notable for its privacy, surrounded by high walls. This Neo-Georgian-style home was built in 1907 by the architect Ernest Marshall for the artist couple Cecil Rhea and Constance Halford. For some time, its owner was Peter Wilson, a former Sotheby's chairman. Freddie Mercury purchased this real estate for £500,000 in cash in 1980 and lived there until he died in 1991. Despite its significance in Mercury's personal life, Garden Lodge is a private residence and not open to the public, which has only added to its mystique among fans. Though he didn't design the interior, Mercury asked the decorator Robin Moore Ede to create a stunning interior that would complement his unique style and preferences. Freddie had developed a craving for style throughout his life, so he invested a lot to transform his mansion into a luxurious home. Queen Frontman had eclectic tastes, not only in design, but also in music and food. His favorite meals became a remarkable facet of his personality. For instance, prawns and roast chicken held a special place in his heart. Though Mercury's taste buds were shaped by the traditional Parsi dishes, one of his favorite breakfasts was a classic full English breakfast with bacon, eggs, and sausages. The singer mostly preferred simple food, which made him feel comfortable. London real estate consultants from Knight Frank said his property also offered a comfortable, homely feel despite grand proportions. They added, with huge enthusiasm for entertaining his close circle of friends, Freddie designed the house to be a memorable, inviting place that reflected his vibrant personality and eclectic vision. Friendship played a crucial role in Mercury's life. Remember Queen's famous lyrics? Friends will be friends. When you're in need of love, they give you care and attention. These powerful words hit right into the heart. Luckily, Freddie had such people around him, both celebrities and infamous. One story of friendship is particularly outstanding. Montserrat Caballet was a guest of honor at the Kensington House. The mansion featured a two-floor drawing room with large windows and an iconic piano, a cozy dining room painted bold saffron yellow, a music center, a bar, a library, and a picturesque Japanese-style garden. Canary yellow was Freddie's favorite color. He picked it himself. Perhaps the sunshine yellow hue reminded Freddie of his upbringing in Zanzibar. The front man also designed geometric cornices for the dining room and hallway. Freddie used to invite guests for extravagant dinner parties. He liked to hide in the minstrel gallery with gold and red furnishings to observe his guests enjoying the party in the spacious drawing room beneath. The spacious hall was stuffed with sophisticated china and fine art. Mercury loved seeking out different items in the King's Road antique markets. When he had spare time from touring and recording, he enjoyed collecting unique pieces of china for his house. From the hall, one could get to the Japanese sitting room named after the garden behind the French doors. The music room's massive windows offered a comforting view of the Japanese garden. The room was bright and airy, mainly due to the grand window, a giant chandelier, and mirrors. Many pictures of Freddie and Mary displayed their happy days together. The drawing room was full of Japanese furniture and art, as well as Dresden china and oil paintings. The walls were decorated with prints by Erte, Romain de Tirtoff, James Tissot, and Utagawa Hiroshige. This Japanese painting, 
sudden shower over the Shin-Ohashi Bridge in Atak was estimated to be around $38,500, $64,200 in Sotheby's September 6th evening sale. The estimates for the portrait of Mrs. Kathleen Newton by James Jacques Joseph Tissot reached almost $770,540 in Sotheby's auction. Upstairs were eight bedrooms, including a principal suite and a dressing room adorned with full-height mirrors and multiple cupboard doors. The singer kept his stage costumes and everyday apparel in the dressing room. Most floors in the house were wooden. The exterior looked gorgeous, especially in spring, with a well-groomed lawn, oriental-inspired water features, planted daffodils and magnolias in bloom. Freddie's partner, Jim Hutton, picked flowers for the garden. Knight Frank's consultant, Paddy Dring, commented, Notwithstanding the legacy of the house, it is very rare that unmodernized homes of this scale, set in such beautiful mature gardens, come to market, so it is certainly an exciting prospect for any future purchaser. An avid collector, Mercury filled his home with an impressive collection of art and antiques. He had a keen eye for fine pieces, often choosing items that were visually striking and significant historical or artistic value. This included everything from 18th-century French furniture to modern art, showcasing a wide range of interests and a deep appreciation for beauty in its many forms. Freddie left the mansion and all belongings to his friend and former fiancé, Mary Austin. The Queen frontman said, I've left you the house because you would have been the woman I would have married, and by rights, this would all have been yours anyway. The confidant deliberately kept an eye on the estate, but, as Queen's 1991 power ballad claims, the show must go on. In 2023, 72-year-old Mary Austin reported she was no longer willing to stay a keeper of Mercury's possessions. She said, this house has been the most glorious memory box because it has such love and warmth in every room. Ever since Freddie and I stepped through the fabled green door, it has been a place of peace, a true artist's house, and now is the time to entrust that sense of peace to the next person. She started with the Sotheby's auction, selling the Yamaha baby grand piano Freddie used to write Bohemian Rhapsody for over $2 million. Did you know that the first musical background Little Farah got in Mumbai was piano lessons? Strangely enough, though Mercury often played the piano, he wasn't an exceptionally superior performer. However, he mesmerized the audience with an extremely precise playing style. Other possessions worth $50.4 million included the impressive collection of dazzling stage costumes, original lyrics, and fine art. Over 41,800 eager bidders worldwide flocked to the brilliance of 1,406 lots. Mercury's numerous fans remained faithful even after three decades of his death. Look at this photo outside the late Freddie Mercury's house in London in 2021. It is a real place of pilgrimage, decorated with flowers, candles, a picture, and a flag saying, Thanks, Freddie. We just wanted to let you know we were thinking about you. Isn't that a perfect way to pay homage to the iconic Queen frontman? And it wasn't a single case. Peek at another photo facing numerous bouquets and loyal fans near the Kensington Homes entrance. Pay attention to the famous green door. In the 2023 auction, this door decorated with graffiti notes of admiration was sold for $521,000. Austin said, Ever since Freddie and I stepped through the fabled green door, it has been a place of peace, a true artist's house, and now is the time to entrust that sense of peace to the next person.
Want to see this legendary portal from another angle? You are welcome. Here's the view from the Garden Lodge's hall. According to Knight Frank's Paddy Dring, the sale of Garden Lodge presents a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to own a significant property combined with a piece of cultural history, the beloved home of an icon. We think the Kensington Mansion sale is just a matter of time. Luxurious yet sophisticated design, marvelous surroundings and a hearty atmosphere. What else could one crave? Mary Austin reported, It has been a joy to live in, and I have many wonderful memories here. Do you agree with our future forecast? Let's pretend Nostradamus. Will Garden Lodge be sold in 2024 or not? Who is more likely to buy it, an ardent admirer of the Queen's legacy or a celebrity? Place your bet in the comments.